Hi guys, welcome to this video where we're going to explain how to use the Swish Live solution. I'm going to walk you through how to download our app and then how to use our solution. And then you'll be able to broadcast your sporting events live just like on TV. So we're going to start by downloading the app on the Apple Store. And if you're on Android, that's no problem. The, the store won't be the same, but you can still download our app. So just type Swish Live in the search box and you'll see our, our app page come up. So you click on the little blue chameleon, it's easy to recognize. Then you'll be able to read the description of our app. Anyways, if you're on this page, you know what you're about to download. So I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to do it again. So once you've downloaded it, you can go open it on your, your home screen. And the opening page of our app will open up. And if it's the first time that you're connecting, you'll have a choice between connecting with Facebook or with YouTube Live. So I'm going to choose this first time around to use Facebook. So you'll come to a confirmation page so that you can connect your account to Facebook. Just hit continue, continue, continue. I'm also going to connect to YouTube now so that both accounts will be connected. Your Swish Live account will be tied to your Facebook account and you can see that um, all the, the pages that you're managing will show up in your Swish Live account. Go ahead and choose the account that you would like to connect to Swish Live. Go ahead and validate everything. Now both of your accounts will be connected. So now you're going to be able to start setting up a live broadcast. So imagine you're sitting on the side of a field, you have your tripod and you have your microphone. And because our solution is a streaming solution and it uses quite a bit of battery, um, your phone may not be able to last the entire game. So don't forget that you can always plug it into the charger provided in your pack. So here you have access to eight different sports. We're going to make our, our first choice. So you can set up your live in here. So I'm going to type in French Cup Final and that's what it's going to show up on YouTube or on Facebook. Then I can put in the names of the teams. So because we're in Toulouse, I'm going to put in the Spacers against Schum. Not a bad game for this test. Then we're going to be able to choose the colors of the jerseys which are in the scoreboard. And then you'll come across a page that will help you decide which quality you're going to be able to broadcast your game in. So because today we have good uh, connection, then the app is recommending that I use the high quality streaming. So this will be the case if you're using Wi-Fi or you have a good 4G connection. If you don't have good streaming conditions, then the app will automatically recommend using either the 540p or 360p quality. The quality will be inferior to HD, but it won't lag. If you're in conditions that don't allow for high quality streaming and you try to use it anyways, you may experience some lagging. We recommend testing um, your streaming before the match so that you can be sure to make the right choice. So now that we've set up our game, we're coming to the, the camera setup. The first screen that pops up is just to ask you to put the phone correctly on the tripod. Then you'll see a message that will invite you to turn on Do Not Disturb on your phone so that you don't get interrupted by incoming calls or messages. Then if you would like, you can use your fingers to test the zoom, which is the same as the zoom on your phone camera. That way, if you're a little far away, you can always zoom during the match. Next, if you would like, you can test out the phone's front camera, which can allow you to commentate the game um, during the match. If you would like to flip your camera, you can do that with the button. As you can see, there's some logos in the corner of the screen. Um, if you have sponsors that you would like to show up on your, your live stream, we can do that. You just need to send us your logos and we will integrate them directly onto your screen. And putting your sponsors directly in your live stream can allow you to monetize your broadcast. Alright, so now we can go ahead and click on Swish Studio, which is the control center of our app. So this is where we have all of the buttons we'll need to manage the scoreboard. If you want to set up your timer to be more accurate, you can always click on it and adjust the time as you'd like. In order to manage sets, we just have to use the set button 
And as soon as you're ready, you can see the go live button on the bottom of your screen on the left and you just have to hit it to start your live. It might take a couple seconds, but as soon as the button switches to stop live, then you're, you're streaming, you're good to go. And once your broadcast is finished, you can quit the live stream by hitting the quit button. And that will take you back to your home screen. And if you're wanting to broadcast on YouTube, you can just do the same thing on, by choosing the YouTube button on your home screen. All right, now we're going to look at how to use the Swish remote controller. So the Swish remote control will allow you to sit wherever you want. You don't need to be near the camera and you can control your match from wherever you're sitting, which means that if your camera is sitting high up in the stands, you can still sit near the team or wherever you want to. Don't worry if you're using an Android and an iPhone together, they're compatible so they can work together, no problem. So once you click on Switch Remote, you'll come to a page where you'll see a list of all the lives that have been launched from a Facebook page for which you are the administrator. All right, so let's go ahead and click on the match FC Cannes versus Mulhouse, which I have already set up on another phone. And as you can see, now we're on the control board where you can manage the game just the same as on the original phone. The only difference is that the background is white instead of black. It works exactly the same way, so you have the timer, you have the score, the, which you can use even from a distance. Alright, so that brings us to the end of our Swish Live tutorial. I hope that it was helpful for you and that I was clear in my explanations. Feel free to get a hold of us on our website, swishlive.com, or by email at contact at swishlive.com.